Hello, and welcome to the tutorial that shows you how to use Stream Dex without sacrificing your number pad, specifically for VTube Studio. <laughs> I'm your host today, Lorelai Irving, the former Tyrant Overlord of a small netherworld called Yonip, and I am here to show you exactly what to do. So, first off, unbox your Stream Deck, obviously, and what you're gonna end up doing is... Hold the phone, let me just pull up the... Elgato downloads. So, you'll go to this site here, which I link in the description below, and you'll select your product. Uh, depending on your stream deck, you just choose whichever one of these is the one. I have a stream deck normal, so I'll download that for Windows, blah, 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 blah. Just, you know, download it and go through the instruct, uh, the prompts. And yeah, I've already done that, obviously. I mean, I already have my stream deck right over here. <laughs> so let's get right into it. First off, when you first go into this, you'll see this. Uh, ignore that. Hold up. I need to delete that. <laughs> you can tell this isn't my first time recording. Anyways, pressing this button here will take you to the welcome stream deck uh, page that Elgato so kindly shows you so that you can actually see how to go to the key creators and all that. Everything that you need to know about the Elgato and whatever. But you're here to skip all that, so we're gonna go ahead and delete that real quick. Don't ask me again. Delete. Okay, cool. Anyways, first thing you want to do is go to uh, Stream Deck right over here on and go in multi-action. Not multi-action switch, multi-action. Okay? Okay. Then after you've gone through that, you're going to want to add hotkey, which is right over here. And what you're going to want to do before that, actually, is differentiate left and right modifiers. And that allows you to um, use left control and right control separately. That way you don't get any confusions when you actually, uh, you know, when you actually play around. Uh, yeah, you go that. Right control and then number pad. So just like that, all of a sudden I have a hotkey for one of my expressions, which I have set up right over here. Uh, if you'll see, right control number one, right control number two, right control number three, and so on and so forth. This allows you to switch between emotions without having to actually sacrifice your number pad, which will be useful, especially if you're playing games like StarCraft or anything else that needs your number pad. Or, you know, if you just want to use the number pad for quick typing. <laughs> uh, now, before uh, a few other things to note. Uh, well, let's test it out, shall we? Do I have something assigned on 5? Hold up. Right control one. Okay. There we go. Now I'm angry. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you can just press that again and again in order to be able to switch your expressions on and off. Now then, a few things to note. You can also customize your stream deck by, well, by adding something over here. So. You can choose from these basic ones over here, or you can even, uh, no, no, not sure. Uh, or you can just go over here, set from file, and then choose whichever one you want. So for example, I'm gonna use the, yeah, so I can choose that, which is obviously not that, but if you want, you can use whatever thing to represent your angry or your happy, sad, etc, etc, etc. Anyways, I'm going to delete that now. And I'm going to show you guys one other useful thing that I have over here. Discord. Now, it, for those of you who have tried to use hotkey, the basic hotkeys on Discord, don't. You see over here, I created my own um, keybinds for it. And the reason for that is that if you were to use any of these default key binds over here, you can only use it while you're tabbed into Discord. So what you're going to want to do is select your own key binds, which toggles mute and deafen and all that, while you're still outside of Discord. And in that way, you don't have to keep tabbing back and forth from Discord. Especially helpful when, you're, when you've only got one screen. 
And speaking of people who only have one screen, I bet you'll want to be able to tab between your uh, between your windows. So what you're gonna want to do is set whichever one, uh, whichever important programs you want to your toolbar. So for example, OBS, which is over here. Uh, my Streamlabs bot, which is over there, uh, my VTube Studio, etc., etc., etc. Even my Stream Deck can go over there, really. But if you were to press Windows plus one, you'll notice that the Windows changed to the first one in your toolbar, and that pretty much goes for each and every one of these up until the number zero on your keyboard. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what you'll want to do is pretty much just put your um, put your important stuff on your toolbar with the number in mind. Go into your stream deck and you can go oh well, hang on that's not it. There we go. You could go Windows plus 2 or 1 or whichever one. So Let's say, for example, I go to uh, number two, which brings up. Oh, that's not in there. <laughs> that's not in the window. But yeah, it brings up that. If I can go straight back to VTube Studio if I wanted to by pressing Windows one. Oh, whoop! Hold up. <laughs> uh, hold the phone. Sorry. There we go. And that allows you to basically. Uh. Yeah, you, that allows you to basically do whatever you want uh, without actually having to get too much trouble. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, and sweet nightmares.